Most people consider the painting of the concert on an egg, now in the Musée de Beaux-Arts in Lille, to be by Hieronymus Bosch. However, internal evidence clearly shows this could not have been created before 1549, some 33 years after Bosch had died. A drawing originating in Bosch's workshop has survived, which is likely to have been a sketch for a similar painting. This is a rough sketch of the idea for the work, rather than being a detailed cartoon for a painting. Seen side by side, one finds only a few general elements survive into the painting. The open music book, the hole in the egg, the outstretched arm of the topmost figure, and the owl. None of the characters depicted in the sketch appear to have been used in the painting itself. It is not too far-fetched to suggest that Bosch created a painting on this theme which has not survived, and that the Lille painting was a copy made from this. Clearly, it has many Bosch visual devices and resonated with his style. There is another copy by Gielis van Hedel, also known as Gielis van den Bosch, an artist who followed the Bosch style, which was sold in 2005 by Hotel Drouot, the large auction house in Paris. It must have been produced sometime before 1577, when Panhedel died. It is closer in conception to the Lille, having ten figures in the egg, which are depicted in the same style, but retains from the sketch the beaker being held aloft by the topmost figure on the right. The Lille, however, dispenses with some elements from the Gaelis Panhedel version. The leaves and fruit on the right, the dead cockerels hanging at the centre, and the jester wand, while adding some other elements. In the concert in an egg, most of the ten musicians are concentrating hard on reading the music from the open book. The musical notation within the painting was analysed recently and was found to be a work created in 1549 by Thomas Crecolon, born around 1505 and dying in 1557, a composer of the Franco-Flemish school. Crecolon was from the Netherlands and active after Bosch's death. This song comes from a collection, Chanson Amarus, and translates as Every night when I go to bed without you. Two figures at the back of the crowd of the musicians do not appear to be participating. On the right is a nun holding up a whirly gig. On her head perches an owl a bird often found in Bosch's paintings, and on its head, in turn, a crow or magpie pecks at the owl's feathers. The figure on the left is a surly-faced man, upon whose head is a ruinous dovecot, upon which black and white birds stand. Two of the figures in the group play instruments, the one closest to the music book plays a harp, while the one to the rear of the group is playing what appears to be a cornetto. On the red cap of the cornetto player stands a stork. The figure at the front of the group, who appears to be acting as a conductor pointing to the music, has what appears to be a glass beaker balanced on the crown of his head. Behind the harp player is a man with spectacles. On his head is an inverted metal funnel 
emitting smoke from its spout. This is a common symbol in Bosch's visual language, perhaps related to the conical dunce's hat indicating stupidity. There are, however, other readings of this symbol. Two other instrumentalists appear in holes further down the egg. A donkey-headed figure plays the lute, while a monkey pokes its head out from another hole and plays a black cornetto. On the left, a tree grows from the egg. From its branches hangs a wine pitcher and a wicker basket holding a picnic of a cooked chicken, bread, an egg and an orange. Two black birds are helping themselves to the feast. On the ground below the egg, there are various scenes. On the right, there is a large slipper in which some people have made their home. Outside are two spoon-billed monks, who appear in many of Bosch's works. This section appears to be a visual quotation from the hell panel of Bosch's Garden of Earthly Delights. Beside the donkey-headed lutenist, a cut-purse thief emerges from the hole and is seen in the act of cutting the cord holding the purse of the conductor while he is immersed in the music. Many people think this painting to be from the hand of Bosch himself, but as we have seen, this is not so. It is, however, so much in his style that it may be a copy of an actual work by him. It is an emanation from an as yet unidentified follower of Bosch and captures the spirit of the artist. It perhaps relates to Bosch's Ship of Fools, where he depicts a group of self-indulgent characters sailing in a small boat, drinking and singing, led by a monk and a nun. Peter van der Hayden, in 1562, created an engraving, Musicians in a Mussel Shell, which takes up this imagery further. Through his followers, Bosch remained an influence throughout the 16th century.